In this video, I am going to explain the basic components and operation of high pressure processing. In my earlier video, I have explained the basic understanding of high pressure. In the coming video, I will explain advantages and disadvantages. In general, food products is first packed in flexible packaging with vacuum and then loaded in a basket. Then basket is moved into the pressure vessel and then closed. Pressure vessel is then hold at a desired pressure and temperature for predetermined time. After treatment, basket is removed from the vessel and unloaded. In operations, we need to know three important aspects, basic components, processing parameters and additional hurdles. We could visualize the high pressure processing operation. First, vacuum packed food in plastic pouches are filled in a perforated basket and then move inside the pressure vessel. Pressure vessel is then closed and filled with compressing fluid. Then intensifier pump is used to build the desired pressure in the vessel. After predetermined holding time, compressing fluid is drained and sample basket is then removed from the vessel. Please watch this video until the end and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. High pressure processing that is HPP can be used as a batch process. In this case solid foods are vacuum packed and liquid food in bottles that is in pack with a minimum head space. It can also be applied semi-continuously for liquid foods without packaging that is in bulk and then aseptically filled. In addition we need to decide whether we will operate at adiabatic or isothermal. In an adiabatic process, it could be allowed to increase the temperature, that is minimum heat loss, whereas in isothermal process, we need to keep temperature at a constant, that is cooling system is required. High pressure in food processing can be applied mainly two ways. One option is to create high hydrostatic pressure by water as a transmitting fluid that is HPP. Another option is to apply high pressure carbon dioxide or dense phase carbon dioxide. In this case applied pressure at much lower levels is used. The major components of HPP are a pressure vessel 30 to 600 liters, closures, for sealing the vessels, a device for holding the closures in place while vessel is under pressure that is Yoki, high pressure intensifier pump, a system for controlling and monitoring the pressure and temperature, a product handling system for transferring product to and from the pressure vessel normally perforated basket, filtering and reusing the compressing fluid usually water or a food grade solution. Typical fluids could be used are water, glycerol, edible oils and water edible oil emulsions. However, water is commonly reused. The processing parameters can be grouped into four categories. These are pressure, temperature, time and additional hurdles. Pressure could be applied static that is one cycle or pulse that is applied pressure cycle. Temperature is one of the important parameters. This includes initial uniform temperature that is no cold spot and end temperature based on adiabatic or isothermal process. That is if we want adiabatic process then we need to maintain 
minimal heat loss. And if we want isothermal process, then we need to remove generated heat by cooling. Time includes prior to achieve initial temperature, that is preheating step, vessel pressurization time, holding time, time to depressurize, and time to cool after depressurization. Other hurdles could be pH, water activity, preservatives, and redox potential, that is oxygen level. In addition, conditions of the sample need to be considered in selecting the processing parameters. For example, initial spore load and type and initial quality. Different levels of applied pressure can cause different types of damage to the microbial cells. At 50 megapascal, protein synthesis is inhibited and numbers of ribosomes are reduced. At 100 megapascal, reversible protein denaturation and compression of gas vacuoles are observed. 200 megapascal is the microbial lethality threshold. At this pressure, membrane damage and sign of cytoplasm leakage are observed. At 300 megapascal, irreversible protein denaturation and cytoplasm leakage are observed. In this slide, we could see the use of different pressure levels for different types of processing and characteristics of the food product. For example, 300 megapascal could be used in shellfish and seafood. In the case of high water activity, we could use 400 megapascal. For intermediate water activity, we could use 500 megapascal. For low water activity, we could use 600 megapascal. Therefore, lower the water activity of the food product, higher processing pressure is required since microbial resistance increases with the decrease of water activity. In the cases of pasteurization and sterilization, different levels of temperature are required. For example, HP cold pasteurization could be used 5 degrees C, HP assisted pasteurization could be used 40 to 50 degrees C, and HP assisted sterilization needs 90 degrees C. In order to understand microbial death, first we need to understand decimal reduction time since microbial resistance to heat and pressure can be visualized from the decimal reduction time. Temperature decimal reduction time that is DT is defined as the time required to reduce one log cycle decrease of the number of microbes at constant temperature. Pressure decimal reduction time that is DP is defined as the time required to reduce one log cycle decrease of the number of microbes at constant temperature and pressure. Higher the decimal reduction time, higher the microbial resistance that is difficult to kill, thus take longer time to deactivate. First we can study the effect of temperature at constant pressure. For example, at 10 megapascal pressure, DP values are 8.08 minute and 4.90 minute at 20 and 40 degrees C respectively. Therefore, microbial resistance decreased when we increase temperature from 20 to 40 degrees C. Similarly, at 2.5 megapascal microbial resistance decreased 27 0.46 minute to 13.35 minute. We can observe that temperature and resistance are inversely related. Now we could see the effect of pressure at constant temperature. At 20 degrees C, DP values are 27.46 minute and 8.08 .08 minute at 2.5 and 10 megapascal. Therefore, microbial resistance decreased as pressure increased. Therefore, similar to temperature, microbial resistance and pressure are inversely related. Similarly, at 40 degrees C, microbial resistance decreased as DP decreased from 13.35 to 
4.90 minute. The DP values 27.46 minute to 8.08 minute and 20 degree C and 13.35 to 4.90 minute at 40 degree C indicated that temperature has more effect within the pressure range 2.5 to 10 megapascal. Since lower DP values shows decreased microbial resistance. Additional preservation hardness could be used to reduce the required severity of high pressure. That is, we could reduce the required pressure, thus low cost. All hardness are not working similarly. Some could be acted as synergistic and some could be acted as an antagonistic. You should watch my other videos on the Hardell technology. If you would like to understand more on the synergistic and antagonistic actions in food preservations. In this slide, I would like to present initial studies on the effect of multi hurdles on microbial destruction in relation to high pressure processing. In group 1A, the listed hurdles work as synergistic. These are high heat, low pH, high water activity, ultrasound, pulse electric field, and vacuum that is low redox potential. In the group 1B, the listed hurdles work as antagonistic. These are low heat, high pH, and low water activity. In group 2C, the listed hurdles work as synergistic. These are these are preservatives that is bactericin, lactate, acrolein, reuterine, lysozyme, and carbon dioxide. In the group 2D, the listed hurdles work as antagonistic, that is high redox potential. In the group 2E, this shows insignificant effect, that is neither synergistic nor antagonistic. These are sulfide and dimethyl bicarbonate. In addition, high pressure transforms cis lycopene in tomato, thus it could increase the absorption of health functional lycopene. Applying multi hurdles in high pressure processing could advance is wide applications in food processing. Since we could operate at low pressure when multi hurdles are used. This could reduce the operating and capital cost. Multi hurdles with high pressure is now evident from the recent publications available in the literature. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe to this channel if you would like to watch similar videos.